Okay guys, and how about we watch a death battle, Donkey Kong vs Knuckles. So of course, make sure to click here to go to the official release, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, then come back here and we'll watch it together. So now first, shout out to Madden Sivanesin. Madden Sivanesin. Madden Sivan... Yes, this one. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon, I really appreciate it. Now then, I definitely know of Donkey Kong and of Knuckles, but really quick, when I say that I don't know them all that well, I mean to the extent that Death Battle requires, because Death Battle goes into like every source available kind of thing, really digs deep into the characters, does math and whatnot, to figure out how strong they are, what they can accomplish, etc, etc. I've never actually played- well, okay, I've actually played a Donkey Kong game. I've played Donkey Kong games, but I've never beaten like his official like Donkey Kong Country or anything like that. I've played Donkey Konga, of course I've seen him in, you know, Mario Kart and tennis and other various Mario games, but those don't really have a lot to do with Donkey Kong himself or what he's capable of accomplishing, so I can't say that I know him to the extent Death Battle requires. That's that. Same with Knuckles, like, I like Knuckles. Between the two, I definitely know Knuckles better, and I prefer Knuckles. Not to say Donkey Kong is a bad character, but simply that I'm more familiar with Knuckles and have more admiration for him and whatnot. Um, I know Muckles, Muckles, Knuckles mostly from Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which I thought was a great game, had its flaws for sure, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and you know, a little bit from like Sonic X the TV series and other various Sonic games that I played, you know, Heroes and Riders, if you want to count that and everything. So I know some of what he's capable of, and from, you know, like Super Smash Bros, I can kind of pull some of the things that Donkey Kong is capable of, but not actually their individual feats. Like, I'm sure the Sonic comics have gone way more in depth than I'm aware of, um, and I don't know what other sources Donkey Kong really has. I've heard that he, like from reading in the comments, that he once punched the moon out of orbit or something like that, and that's quite the feat. Completely, like, wrecks humanity, kind of. You know, I'm sure it would have a big impact, but, um, I don't know how Knuckles' feats compare, so I can't say anything. Maybe that's minuscule in compared to what Knuckles has done, I don't know. Point is, I don't know enough about the characters at this moment to make any sort of definitive statement as to who I think would win, so we're gonna have to rely on the analyses. So, with that said, let's get to watching. Here we go, guys. Donkey Kong vs. Knuckles, a death. Guardians of Treasure, Champions of Justice. That's right! Prove that if you've got enough brute strength, you don't need to be smart to kick some serious ass. That doesn't Donkey mean they're Kong, dumb, though. Defender of the world's largest banana horde. And Knuckles the Echidna, Guardian right? of the all-powerful Master Emerald. We've already established that Mario and Sonic-related power-ups counter each other. For example, DK's Strong Kong could counter Hyper Knuckles, so for this fight, oh. we'll be sticking to the bare essentials. Okay. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to Glad they got that out of the way right away, at least. Find out who would win a death battle. And close the doors and open the doors. Now this is the law of the jungle. Okay. As old and as true as the sky, the ones that shall keep it may prosper. But the ones who touch Donkey Kong's banana horde must die. <laughs> See, I know literature. Well, the part's about killing, anyway. Good job, Long Boomstick. Long ago, an illegal pet gorilla famously did battle with his abusive owner atop a construction site. The That's ape's right. name was Donkey Kong, and the conflict didn't go so well for him. After escaping, he fled to a remote island with his son, also named Donkey Kong. His son would later bear a child destined to rule the island. This powerful ape was named... You guessed it. Donkey, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Being a gorilla, <laughs> Donkey Kong naturally loves bananas. No, 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 no. Real gorillas primarily eat plants like stems and bamboo shoots. Oh, and well. And sometimes termites to fight diarrhea. Too much info, Wiz. Well, this gorilla loves bananas so much that he's hoarded hundreds for himself. And Impressive. if someone tries to take away any of his delicious golden treasures, may God help them. And Would he really do that? Been bold enough to steal his entire stockpile several times, right out from under his nose. <laughs> That's what happens when you hog every banana on the island to yourself. Just basic supply and demand. Donkey right, Kong yeah. weighs 800 pounds and stands about eight feet tall. That's oh. almost twice as big as a normal gorilla. Yeah, it's he quite tall. He spends his afternoons as if he were a Florida native by finding ways to kill crocodiles, such as crushing them with his sheer weight, chucking barrels at them like his old man, or just straight up punching them to death. The strength this ape wields is so tremendous, his very palms can shake the earth. And his trademark Which giant we've all used in melee. his victims flying beyond the horizon. But just because he's strong doesn't mean he's slow. He can unleash a flurry of blows so fast he ignites the hydrogen in the air, 
creating explosions. Really? This is similar to a meteor catching huh. fire while falling through the atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour. That's quite fast. I'm telling you, Wiz, it's only a matter of time before the apes take over. While common gorillas have impressed the scientific community by using basic tools, Donkey Kong is a little beyond that. Yeah, he's got a shotgun. Like, I know it looks like he's just carrying around a log, but yeah. no, seriously, it's a boomstick that Funky Kong somehow made out of a tree oh. that fires concussive homing coconuts. It can fire in spurts, and if he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. At least, that's what I the DK get rap tells us. Right. But what it doesn't tell us is that the series of grunts you hear from the Kongs is actually actually them speaking their own language. Really? Oh. I wonder well. what he's saying. Banana Slammer! Banana Slammer! Banana Slammer! Banana Slammer! I have no idea what this is. Banana Slammer! Banana Slammer! Oh, wait, is that really from, like, that. the show? <laughs> Sometimes he sings, too. From on top of the white mountains, your glory. No. Donkey Kong, stop it. Donkey Kong. That's too weird. What the hell? Okay, <laughs> I know I watched some of this show, but I do not remember there being any musical numbers. Like, at all. Oh, there were two in every episode. 40 episodes in all. Really? Your brain likely shut down while watching to protect your fragile consciousness. Makes sense, okay. Shower you with coconut cream pie. Good one, brain. That's so weird. You a beer. <laughs> Donkey Kong has done some ridiculous things. With a clap of his hands, he can create a shockwave strong enough to shatter meteors. Also, I exaggerate nothing when I say he ate an entire plantation of bananas in a single afternoon. He's agile so he eats that much, but then hordes a pile? Ledge and tough enough to survive point blank explosions multiple times. But most hmm. impressively, after surviving an explosion that launched him into orbit, we go. he used a fully charged giant punch to send a moon careening into the planet. He apparently expands his power by using both his bananas and his body hair, like a monkey Burt Reynolds. If he gets a haircut, though, he loses his power and looks really Does he weird. really? Wow. I, wow. Well, perhaps DK's cranial also, deformity is linked yeah. to his greatest weakness. That's odd. You see, Donkey Kong is kind of an idiot. We're talking what? about an ape who didn't realize he was following his own treasure map until after he found the bananas it led to. Really? Or while suffering from amnesia, a pirate crocodile was able to convince him that he was a crocodile through song and dance. Donkey Kong joined in, singing about physical features he clearly does not possess. He's also just as lazy as he is stupid. <laughs> One time, he and Diddy were making a killing selling frozen coconuts and could have had all the bananas they ever wanted. But the simple task of just cracking coconuts open all day was too strenuous for the big ape. Oh. So he sold the business for a couple measly bananas. Bananas are the only motivator that seem to work on DK. Hmm. But they're also the only one he needs to bring out the big guns. If something separates him from his precious fruit stockpile, someone is going to die. Okay. No stopping me this time. Not a do it. You're gonna stop because that's what you do when you're faced with an irresistible force. That's so weird. That cartoon has to be like the weirdest thing. Knuckles, yes! Four thousand years ago, the Echidna race thrived due to their advanced technology and talent for warfare. Now that's what I call a pet! I know what I'm picking up at the pet store on the way home. Just a heads up, the males have four heads on their penises. What? Awesome! <laughs> Desperate for the power What's to the command the world, the Knuckles tribe staged a raid to obtain the legendary power of the Master Emerald. What they didn't okay. know was that it was protected by a giant murderous water dragon with tentacles named Chaos. Oh. And it just killed the shit out of them. Miraculously, a young echidna girl survived and managed to seal Chaos inside the Master Emerald. The resulting energy output ripped the echidna's home into the oh, sky. Oh, that's how it got there. Angel Island, perpetually floating so long as the emerald remained in its shrine. Okay. Sonic lore, everybody. Centuries later, one final descendant of the Knuckles clan remained, and his name was... Knuckles. Knuckles. 
though not the most creative parenting in the world, but no. hey, Knuckles is the lone guardian of the Master Emeralds, dedicating his entire life to protecting the family jewel. <laughs> I like the bottom. According and to a recent why design, he spends most of his days sleeping and doing nothing because really, who's gonna fly all the way up to a tiny floating island just to steal a rock? Right? Why the nefarious <sighs> Dr. Eggman? Oh no! Course. As a ploy, Eggman convinced Knuckles that a certain blue hedgehog and a fox with two tails planned to steal the Master Emerald. Knuckles left to stop the thieves, and Eggman swiped the gem for himself. Not the sharpest head on the dick, is he? Without its energy source, Angel Island plummeted out of the sky. Oh no! Until Sonic the Hedgehog literally beat the sense into Knuckles, and together they saved the day, forming a tense romance. Sounds like uh -uh. you've got an inferiority complex. Huh? I have a what? Oh, nothing. Never mind, Knuckles. <laughs> Since then, Nux has continued to try to guard the emerald. However, most people who try to steal it do. But luckily for old Rad Red, he can track the master emerald using his treasure hunting skills. Right. And his special bond with the gem, which allows him to detect its presence and harness some of its power. Which he can focus through the ancient martial art passed down through the Knuckles clan. Is that how they the explain ancient that in arts? Heroes? I'll punch the crap out of everything. No, really, that's the answer to every single problem Knuckles has. Something in the way? Punch it. Need to climb a cliff? Punch it. Falling down a trap? Punch it. Punching not <laughs> working for some reason? You fing know he punches it, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was pretty tough. You're taking this breaking and entering business way too literally. Speaking of which, Knuckles can throw punches so extreme they create explosions by igniting hydrogen in the air. It's the same kind Sounds of thing. Familiar? Yes. Knuckles is fast, capable of running at least 100 miles per hour. He can also take to the sky and glide, mm -hmm. reportedly by trapping air underneath his dreadlocks. Although there's no logical way is? those locks are aerodynamic enough to keep him airborne. Hey, it's better than a tanuki flying with its nutsack. Then again, he could yeah. be twirling his dick. And no. with the spikes on his fist, Knuckles can effortlessly dig through dirt and rock. Add on his attachable shovel claws, and he can even tunnel through solid metal. With arms that stringy, it makes you wonder where so all this strength bear. comes from. Well, his connection with the Master Emerald is responsible for much of his more absurd attributes, like gliding and punching explosions. Nux can shatter boulders, dodge machine guns, ride atop flying jets and missiles like skateboards. Oh, and he can breathe in space. He's matched and even trumped Sonic in battle runs fast enough to cut holes in the ground, hmm. is strong enough to uproot massive trees. Hell, he's strong enough to throw this. With a single punch, he can trigger a volcanic eruption. <laughs> Doing so requires displacing pressure in a volcano's magma chamber. Mm -hmm. At minimum, this can sit around 3,280 feet or one kilometer below the Earth's surface. Knuckles had to have punched the ground with at least 3.9 megatons of force. Over How does that compare to the moon? More powerful than the highest yield bomb in the known U.S. nuclear stockpile. Oh. That's cute. How about the time he punched the moon? One day, Eggman blew up half the moon and yeah, okay. built it into a, a robot moon because, oh. well. He gets off on that Is that trip. how that happened? Via remote control, Eggman actually changed the moon's orbit to create a never-ending eclipse. But never fear, Knuckles just dove out into outer space and punched the remote control <laughs> in dust, <laughs> causing an explosion visible from Earth and returning the moon to its normal orbit. But having these abilities isn't enough to let him win every time, especially when his biggest obstacle is his own brain. Knuckles is illiterate, doesn't know left from right, and one time really? didn't realize until too late that he was was eating a napkin. Hey, give credit where it's due, Wiz. When he did figure it out, he stuck to his guns and finished every bite of that damn napkin. <laughs> in dinner and clean up at the same time. Poor he Knuckles. hardly ever strategizes before combat, preferring to run in swinging. Hey, whatever works. It doesn't. Well, not all the time. And despite being mortal enemies, Dr. Eggman has duped Knuckles into allying with him on multiple occasions. It's happened so often by now, you have to wonder whose side he's really on. Hey, his fists can blow the top off a volcano, so why waste precious time on things like reasoning? <laughs> that seems fair. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Knuckles, you've been elected governor! All in today's work. Well, that's fun. That at least is fun. I assume that's from the Sonic Boom TV show. All right, the combatants all are right. Set. Let's end this debate. Let's see what happens. It's time for a death battle. And pause. 
All right, to talk about this one, however briefly. Okay, this is kind of difficult actually because it seems that they're matched really rather well. They both punched the moon. I'll give Donkey Kong that he punched the moon with more force to send it down more quickly, but I don't think that that necessarily says that Knuckles is not also capable of that feat because instead he was able to punch the moon with enough precision that it went back into orbit in its normal place. That's what I gathered from that. Maybe it was an accident, but I like to think that that was the intention because I don't think they said. I didn't read a whole lot of the sidebars for either of the characters, so that's my fault. Um, they both had enough speed to, you know, create the explosion when punching, but they did point out that Knuckles was able to best Sonic, and we know that Sonic is a lot faster than Knuckles, and I'm gonna say a lot faster than Donkey Kong too, as fast as Donkey Kong is. We know that they're both rather stupid, um, but, uh, and, and, and they're both lazy too. Their motivators are like Donkey Kong's with the bananas, Knuckles, Chaos Emerald, uh, he gets power from the Chaos, or not the Chaos, Emerald, the Master Emerald, sorry. Um, Donkey Kong really just gets fueled by the bananas, right? He doesn't actually get powered by them. Um, and if Donkey Kong loses his hair, apparently his powers are lost as well. I'm thinking that Knuckles has this one. I don't know by how much, but I'm thinking that Knuckles has this one. And of course, I will admit that a, a lot of this is probably just, uh, ah, sorry, phone call. I'll be back. As much as they seem like really tied, like really, really tied, I feel like Knuckles has this at least a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna be rooting for Knuckles here. I don't have a ton to say aside from like, I think Knuckles has one more weak point, that being like his hair, and, er, Donkey Kong, sorry. I think Donkey Kong has one more weak point, that being his hair. Um, Knuckles has other abilities like flying and climbing and, er, gliding, you know, and digging and stuff, so I think Knuckles has this one. We'll have to see, so play. No, Knuckles, don't eat bananas! No, don't do it! Oh, no! <laughs> well, that explains how they get into the fight. Though he should have read the sign. Oh, he can't read the sign, he's illiterate. You should have known the importance of signs, Knuckles. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> oh no. I will say I did not consider his guns. But he's able to dodge machine guns, so Are you punchy? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> yes, he finally punched one. How did you get there? He dug down. He dug down. That would get confusing. <gasps> Run fast enough to. Hmm, not as strong as you thought you were. Oh, get no. two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not? Sure, let's go with this. I'm kind of surprised the Master Emerald hasn't been any part of this so far. <laughs> it's like, DK, you're not helping. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I was like, how'd Knuckles survive? We saw the blood mist. Like, <laughs> Knuckles may have had the edge in speed and agility, but his stubborn strategy of rushing in only played into Donkey Kong's favor by keeping close and in range. Both were tough enough to survive atmospheric re-entry and the vacuum of space, but only Donkey Kong has also survived an explosion strong enough to launch him into orbit in the first place. That's, Knuckles that's and fair, that's may true. have punched moons, but both feats are not precisely what they seem. The moon Donkey Kong Punch belongs to the Mario universe and is clearly smaller than our own moon. Mm -hmm. By comparing its size to that of Donkey Kong Island, we found this moon is approximately 2,775 feet in diameter and weighs 9.9 .9 quadrillion tons. Okay. Knocking it out of orbit means DK punched it with a strike of over 3,000 megatons of force. So not quite as impressive as punching our real moon, but hey, still way better than what Knuckles can do. Knuckles only destroyed a receiver controlling the moon's flight path. And although the moon's orbit changed oh. afterwards, it's unreasonable to say Knuckles is responsible. He has no other feet supporting this outlier, and the moon was previously established to move itself due to being part robot now. Okay, Sonic a little misleading, Knuckles but I'll go with wasn't it. wasn't enough when DK was just that much stronger and tough enough to take anything thrown at him. DK just wasn't a kidneying around. The winner is Donkey Kong. Fair enough, claps for Donkey Kong. Next time. Next time on Death Battle. Wolverine versus. Oh yeah, they never tell us anymore. We have to wait for Twitter. Right. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Death Battle. I'm Ben. No problem, Ben. Wiz, and next time is Wolverine. But who is he going to be fighting? Be sure to stay tuned to our social media websites, Twitter, at ScrewAttack. But his Facebook, regen would certainly official help. Official SA, we will be letting you know who Wolverine is fighting on Death Battle very soon on those Kay. websites. In the cool. meantime, you can click the little annotation up there to go check out the latest Death Battle. Go for it. Before, before this one, Goku vs. Superman 2. And, you know, check out the Death Battle playlist afterwards. Watch over... <laughs> we've done over 50 of these episodes. I mean... Like, just crap, barely over, but yeah. Those back to back to back. And when you're done, you can check out our other show, Deska Death Battle. The latest one's all about Goku versus Vegeta. Who's the better dad? <laughs> right. They're, they're both kind of shitty dads, but who's the better one? We find out. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. We'll be with you next week when we talk all about the Wolverine. Okay, cool. That'll be fun. Wolverine's... All right, good job, Zach. I enjoyed that animation. So let's start... I always forget that I have Windows Media Player on repeat nowadays. So let's start with the animations. Yes, I liked I liked the animation. I thought that it was very humorous. I liked that it didn't all happen in one location, that they actually did move around, and then they moved around with relative reason. Like there wasn't they weren't just kind of thrown randomly into places. Um, but they had reasons for their where they went or at least how they got there. Um so that was amusing. Um I am, of, of course, a little upset that Knuckles, you know, died. Because I do like Knuckles more, but of course, Death Battle's a fictional thing. They didn't really kill Knuckles. That's just the thing. Um, and, and I can reason why Donkey Kong won. You know, like, yeah, if, if Knuckles didn't actually move the moon, which I thought that they said, but I guess that I, I only inferred that. Um, so that's, you know, my fault, even though I will say that it probably still was a little misleading to include that if that is not actually how it happened. Kind of like when they're like, well, Beast did not really lift the Golden Oak or whatever. A little misleading things like that, you know, they do bother me a little bit. But anyway, um, you know, happy for Donkey Kong anyway. Donkey Kong's, again, not a bad character. I just don't really know enough about him to say that I like him. Uh, usually I only, again, meet him in, like, Mario Kart, where if he lose or if he beats me, then I hate him because he's mocking me and he's a monkey and he should not know how to drive a cart better than a baby. Or a turtle. But it made sense enough to me. Some things about the animation, and of course, this is just the animation, not having to do with the result of the battle, but, like, you know, I would question how Donkey Kong was able to run to the bushes before Knuckles and hide there in time and whatnot. Little things like that. Um, but, again, I found the animation amusing. I thought it was really nice. So... You know, credit where credit's due. That was good. Good job, Zach. I think that it was a little unfair of them at the end to say, like, after the d winner was determined, to say that um, Knuckles played into Donkey Kong's advantage because Donkey Kong is all, like, you know, melee up close and everything. But Donkey Kong is the one who has some ranged attacks, those being the guns. Knuckles is all up front. Like, he's all melee. He's all brawl or whatever you want to call it. So, the advantage, he didn't really give it to Donkey Kong. He just kind of evened the playing field for the both of them. Because if Knuckles kept at a distance, you know, Donkey Kong still had his guns. And sure, Knuckles could dodge them or whatnot, but he couldn't actually attack from that distance. So, I thought it was kind of weird that they said that. It made it seem a little... 
odd to me, but you know, whatever. The thing that I definitely didn't really consider is the force that it would take to actually knock Donkey Kong into orbit and to the moon. Um, I did reason like, oh, well, if he, he was, you know, he punched the moon to, you know, out of orbit to the earth, and so then, like, he must be able to survive in space. I did reason that on my own without them telling me, or at least without reading the sidebars, maybe they included it there. Um, what I did not consider was actually, yeah, how much he would have to withstand in order to be blasted up that high. Um, in order to, you know, also breaking through, you know, the different levels of the atmosphere and whatnot. So, I will take, I will take fault for that. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this death battle. A little disappointed with the outcome, but I see their reasoning and I'm fine with it. And I'm really looking forward to next time, because Wolverine's pretty cool. I don't know if they're going to do a 3D battle or not, but um, I am looking forward to seeing his opponent again with Wolverine's regeneration and just how tough he is with the adamantium and everything. Uh, that's going to be an interesting battle, so... Again, looking forward to who he's going to be fighting, looking forward to the battle in general, and we're going to call it here. So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to have a like, comment, and if you even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, <laughs> tune in the next time for my next video. Until then, take care. Q outro, go!